guys know you're in trouble when you don't do that. Nobody hit anything under the chat that you want me to really focus on. So I'm going to just roll with it. Um, and what I want, I have a lot of outer hip work. I have a warm up that's a little bit different and funky. And then we're going to get into the hips. And um, we can just start on our backs, like always. If you'd rather start in child's pose or any other place, feel free. I'll talk you guys through this first few moments just sitting here on my block. And I'm <laughs> trying to, that's going to. It's going to make me giggle all class, that background of yours. Um, and uh, after this, then I will join you guys on my mat. So just arrive down on your back. Take any posture that works for you right now. If your back's super tight, you feel like maybe you've been doing some weird workouts or a lot of yard work. Maybe you bend your knees and you take uh, your feet max distance, draw the knees together, and just come into a nice knock knee posture. Maybe you're drawing them all the way up into your chest and just let that relax right there. Taking a big deep inhale in. And as you exhale, let it go. Just coming into your space here, a big deep inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Big deep breath in, exhale, let it go. And then just settle into your space. I'm actually gonna step out for one minute. I've had a lot of people comment that they can't get into the link, so I just need to go get the link. Um, I don't know how to get it from here, so I'm just gonna step out. You guys sit there, take your breath for a few moments. I'll be right back in two seconds. Starting to deepen your breath. When you're ready, maybe coming into that box breath. We'll take four rounds, drawing in for four. We hold for four. We exhale for four. We hold for four. A big deep inhale in. Two, three, four. Pause. Two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Again, big deep inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four. Again, big breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Perfect. Just find in that space and just notice again what you're bringing to the mat. Every day is a little bit different. Every day I've been waking up feeling a little bit funky and I think, oh, what am I doing today? And then I realize, oh, I really can't do my normal today. And that's okay, right? We're just all in this together, having a gay old time. And I welcome you to slowly draw the knees up into their chests and give yourself a huge hug of gratitude. I'm gonna move myself to my mat at this moment. And then just rock a little bit side to side and see what that back is telling you today. And a big deep inhale in. And an exhale, I'll let it go. Apparently, I'm having some kind of issue. Anybody that didn't log in already has, can't get logged in. I don't know what's going on, but lucky you guys, we're all in, the 22 of us. Take your feet up into a tabletop, and I want you to concentrate just on your low abs here. 
And we're gonna slowly just kind of push your low back down, draw the knees in, and then let that back come back down. And again, big inhale, pull the knees in. And exhale, take it down. And again, inhale, pull the knees in. This time, pull them in. Lift your booty up down here. And then as you exhale, let everything drop over to the right. Just coming into your first nice, easy twist. Now we're going to do some work in a minute where this knee is going to stack on top of the right. So just kind of notice your simple, easy twist, how that knee is, you know, back several inches. And just relax into this space and give it a moment to digest. And a big breath in. And as you exhale, maybe the left shoulder comes down or reach the left arm over your, by your left ear and really inhale, really reach, and then straighten the legs as much as you can. Taking a big breath in, flex through the heels, big, big, big inhale. And now listen, this is a little bit different. This is what happens when I'm stuck at home, right? Bring your left hand back out. And as you inhale, bring the left leg straight up to the ceiling. So your right leg's Straight down, coming out, left leg's up. Now inhale, push through that heel, and then slowly, like a little kind of um, seesaw, you're gonna let that right leg come up. Both legs are out wide. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. You can get a little extra love in those inner thighs. Take the hands inside if you want. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Keep flexing through the heels. Big inhale. And then as you exhale, we're going to close up shop, draw those knees together, find a bend, and drop that into that tabletop. So a big inhale in, and then slowly we exhale over to the left. So again, just kind of notice, right, how you land on this side. I'm trying to pick up. I'm super sore, so I promise a little extra ad lib today as I go through this practice with you. Just know I'm feeling all those aches and pains as well, as you guys might be. So again, maybe you peek down, check out your knees. Maybe this side's naturally more stacked and like that. Maybe this side's a little tighter. No worries. Couple breaths. Try and relax through that right shoulder. And then we inhale if you want. You don't have to, right arm straight over your ear. Really inhale, reach. Try and get all the length you can on that right side body. Left arm still out like a T, and then if you want, take those feet out long and straight, and then really flex through the heels, reach the fingertips, get all the length you can, big inhale in. Keep the legs out long, take that right arm out to a T, and then here we go, run that little funky kind of alligator bite. As you inhale, bring that foot straight up, flex both feet, take a breath in, and then slowly rock until both booty cheeks are down flat, both feet are out wide. Take the hands up, bring them inside those legs. Now I want you to push down with your hands and squeeze in with your legs. So making it an act of lengthening through those inner thighs. Not as much fun or relaxing as Supta Baddha Konasana, but way more effective. So big inhale in. Big exhale out, push down with your hands, squeeze in with the legs, take a breath, and then slowly, oh my goodness, draw those feet together, draw the knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze. And then plant that left foot down on the mat, and place those hands behind this right hamstring, extend the leg up, and then just take some good old circles through those feet, see what's going on in those ankles on this gorgeous Friday. Include your toes, you know we'll stretch those things. And then find that figure four, taking a breath. Let's just really check quick hips. Lift that left side. Now, maybe you've had a few huge workouts, right? And you want more passive, and release your hands behind the thigh and draw it in. Otherwise, you stay right here. Just use that leg, and if you want, you grab the inside of that right leg, pull it towards you, and then push it away as you use those left leg muscles to draw in. Now remember your belly, engage, push low back down, big breath in. As you exhale, squeeze in a little bit more, big inhale in. Exhale, squeeze in a little more. And then slowly lower that left foot down. First thing we're gonna do is a nice easy twist to the right. Keep that foot where it is. 
Drop everything to the right. So a little deeper twist, come in a little bit more into that outer hip. Couple breaths, if it bothers your knee, kick that right leg off, that foot off of your leg. And just let it be a nice, easy twist. Big inhale in. Fill it up, and as you exhale, really draw the belly in and up. And then we come to neutral, but keep that figure four. Taking a breath in, this time you're gonna drop everything, kind of wiggle the left foot to the right side of the mat. You're gonna drop everything to the left, lift your head up, look to this leg, see if you can grab your ankle and pull it up into your hip socket. Oh my Lord. And then try and relax down into this space. I know some of you have the ability to wiggle this bottom foot and grab hold and you're in a big back bend but I'm just gonna relax into this expression and get this weird little TFL thing going in my inner thigh here on the right. Couple breaths. Again, big deep inhale in. And exhale, let it go. And then slowly we unravel. Take both feet down onto the mat. And give it a little wiggle jiggle side to side, just whatever feels good. And then we'll play with that on the other side. Left leg, find your figure four, take a couple breaths. Oh, excuse me, inner legs, come on up. First, let's get those creaks out of those ankles. I've been riding my Peloton so much, my ankles have been very tight. So just let that go. And then find that figure four. Now, again, option one, passive. Come up, grab hold, let that left hip just kind of blob out and relax. Or make it active, utilize this right leg. You know me, I'm always trying to go active. I just feel like it's healthier as I get older. Engage your low belly, push the low back into the ground. Really important to stabilize there. Turn this right leg on. If you want to, grab hold of this leg, pull in and push out. And then right arm is out, big inhales in. As we exhale, we pull in a little more. Big inhale, exhale, draw in. One more time, big inhale, exhale, pull in. And then slowly release that right foot down. Keep the figure four, arms come out wide, big breath. Taking the easy twist first, we drop everything to the left and those knees. Left foot stays on top of that right leg and it feels good. If it doesn't, take that thing off of there. Just do what works for you. And then we breathe. A big inhale in and a big exhale out. And again, just try and pick up which side feels tighter today. Like we're not in our normal lives, so our body will probably feel a little bit differently than it normally does. Good breath in. Big breath out. Head comes up to neutral. Wiggle that foot back, find your figure four, and then kind of walk the right foot across the mat. You drop everything to the right. Now, some people don't really get that much out of this stretch. My other side, not so much. This side kind of makes me want to cry. When I grab hold of this left foot and pull it as close into the crease of my hip as I can get it, I get this big, huge, lengthening through like my butt dimple area. And again, if you have it, you can wiggle the bottom foot around, grab hold with your left hand, but try and lengthen the spine there. If you're one of the few that comes here and you feel like nothing, you're just kind of like chillaxing, you could slightly drop the knee forward by giving it a little extra love with your left hand. I don't need to do that again. I'm getting plenty right where I am. And then settle into this space. So working through a really funky muscle set right in that outer hip. Big breath in. Big breath out. And big inhale in. And exhale, let it go. And then slowly unravel, bring both feet down to the mat. Give it a little wiggle side to side, just loosen all that goodness up. And then draw the knees into the chest, give them a big, huge squeeze. And then as you exhale, lift the feet straight up to the ceiling. So we're gonna work the hamstrings right here first, relax on our backs. So starting with the base and to the calves, think about your heels, 
draw everything into one line and then push through those heels. So finding your calves and Achilles. So again, if you're like me, you're tight, you can have a soft bend to start, just push through those heels. If this is killing you and everything here, more softness here, and then think about trying to scoop that belly and push the low back in. So you're using your core. Really inhale, push, push, push. Now slowly, just the right leg, just the right leg, holy crud. Straighten as much as you can. If you're like me, I'm feeling it on um, IT band is really even tapping in here. And then look at your foot. My foot's going out to the right because my IT band's tight. Your foot's going out to the right. Try and angle it in and say, I got this, I'm gonna balance it. Flex your feet, draw those toes towards the shin, take a breath, and then relax the right leg. My legs are shaking right now. Push the low back down. Here we go, let's play again. Push through the heel, right leg stays slightly bent. Push your sugar out of that left side. So try and straighten and muscle into that left leg. Again, check your foot up. I learned a lot about your off bodies in the studio by watching your feet, and that sounds like super crazy. But the first thing I'm going to do when I work with any athlete is I have them do some weird stuff when I wash their feet. So this side's not as tight in my IT band. I it's a little more straight. Shaking like a freaking leaf right now. But it's a little more straight. I don't have to really focus to draw it nice and straight. Again, big inhale, push through the left leg. And then exhale, both knees kind of soften. Draw them into the chest. And then come right back up again. Going to warm up the hip flex, and then we're going to stretch the crack. Crud out all of it. Left leg's gonna stay nice and relaxed. Take your arms out wide. Now, first thing I want you to think about doing is engage the belly, push the low back down, super important. And then right leg, bring it out to hover. Three, two, one. You're gonna hover it just to where your low back starts to feel like it wants to come off the mat. Everybody's different. You might only get to here. You might get your leg all the way down. Mine comes down, I don't know, about halfway. So push the low back into the mat by engaging your belly, and then slowly lower that foot to just where your low back feels like it might come up. Hold, and then bring it up. Next side, inhale, push the low back in, right leg down, hold, and then a little pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and up. My favorite number has not changed. Again, left side, take a breath, push the low back down, left leg comes down. Again, everybody's different. Just take it to where your low back feels like it's gonna pop up. Utilize your core muscles, stabilize, strengthen your hip flexor muscles. We're gonna stretch the crowd out of them in a second. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, bring it up, draw them in, rock and roll yourself a little bit. Give yourself a little back massage since so we can't really get one. And then slowly come up and over, come into your tabletop. And we're gonna take some rounds of this, cats and cows. So you get funky here, close your eyes, do whatever feels good, and just see what is there. So we've warmed up our outer hips. We've warmed up our core. We've warmed up our hip flexors. We're gonna release a little bit into the back again, coming into that nice, just basic twist that we all know. Take the left hand center of the mat and draw the low belly in, knees are beneath hips. As you inhale, reach the right hand up, really push, draw the belly in, reach. And as you exhale, thread the needle. Drop that right arm underneath. Try and keep those hips stacked over your knees, and then reach that left arm over your ear and breathe. And then settle into that space there. If you've not done so, I should have said it, if you want to make me big and not see everybody in the group, just pin my photo. And then breathe into that space. If you feel an extra sparky today, right, and you want a little extra core work, I know most of you know what you're doing here. Take the left leg out. I'm gonna continue into some hip strength too. You can take the left leg and hover, play a little game. You can take the left leg out to the side, lift it up. Again, find that outer hip strength. Lift up high, take a breath, and then rotate straight back. Lift it up, find your high hamstring, lift connection. 
and then release that, let it go. Take a breath in. As you exhale, left hand comes under your shoulder, inhale, find that reverse reach, and let it go. And then we just kind of notice the difference. Then we come to the other side, right hand, bring that puppy center and forward, inhale, take the left hand up, really reach, engage, really draw the belly in, use your core, and then as you exhale, we thread the needle on this side. I will spin myself around. And then right arms over your ear. And so settle in here again. This might be what you need today. There's nothing that says we need to maximize everything. I'm going to actually read you something that um, Mind Body, which is an app that people use to log into yoga studios. They posted them. I really spoke to me. I thought it was hysterical. So you stay there. Or you're going to go for it. Take the leg out. Hold. Maybe that's it. Maybe you lift it, hold, maybe you play with your balance, utilizing the core and that outer hip strength, bring that foot around, hold, maybe you lift it a little higher until you really feel those muscles. Again, not something you need to do. Bring the leg out, lift until you feel that hamstring and booty. Take a breath if you're there, and then lower the knee down. Right hand comes underneath. As you inhale, take that left arm out, reach it up. And then exhale, let it go. A couple rounds, take those cats and cows. Again, make it doing, doing, practicing all that yummy on a hot kriya, organic movement. And then slowly, I want you to tuck your toes. Walk your hands forward. You're going to come into a nice modified plank. Now look at your arms. And yoga, this is something, um, you know, we talk about it, but the abels here, pull them in so that when you push down, this arms come down. So it's a little bit of arm and shoulder warm up here. Lower the right arm down, push up, left arm down, both down, push up, right arm, left arm, both arms, push up. Now shift forward, right in your shoulders up. Let's do it again. Right arm, oh, so much harder. Left arm, Ooh. both arms, oh, push up. This time we're gonna lower to a count of five, four, three, two, one. Untuck the toes. Let's everybody take our feet out wide today. Be a little more forgiving on the low back. Keep your hands right where they are. Bring your chin to the mat, engage your low belly. Pull in with those elbows and inhale, lift. Exhale, chin down. Draw the hands back two inches. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. A little bit further back if it's there, and then point the hands out left and right, going up into seal here. If it's in your back, if it's not, don't feel like you need to do it. You're going to inhale, push all the way up. Now, with seal, you really want to. Lengthen through the spine, getting the all the length you can. And then draw the chest through, head comes up, big breath in. And then drop the left hip down like over your right shoulder. So it's kind of a funky little start into our hip flexor. And then come center, take a breath. And then drop the right side. And then come back to neutral. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, lift yourself up. Coming into puppy just for about five breaths. So you keep your booty over those knees. Walk your hands way out. I realized I hadn't done puppy in, oh my gosh, probably like two weeks today. Drop your forehead down. Keep your fingertips way out there today. And then I want you to think about scooping and drawing the belly in. Take a breath in. And then... Just like a wooden child's pose. Walk way to the right. Really reach the left fingertips as far away as you can get them. And then pull the left hip back as you pull the left shoulder down towards the mat. So it's like a little corkscrew effect. Take a breath in. Breath out. And then come through center. And we walk over to the left. So it's like you arrive, stay on your little fingertips, arms are really expanded far, find your length here first, and then add that little bit of a pull back of the right hip, 
Reach forward with the right fingertips, big deep inhale in. Bigger exhale out. Big inhale in. Big exhale out. And then slowly come back to neutral. Hands right under the shoulders. A little bit of release. Get that out of there. And then tuck your toes under. I want you to lift yourself up. Come into that bent knee forward fold. Let your ribs stay connected to your thighs and just blob your hands out for now. And just let your head hang. Shake a yes and no. And then fingertips to those shins. Engage your bahuki. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, lengthen. Hold here while you're halfway. Lifted, long spine. Wiggle your feet in about two fists. Fists distances. That's kind of hard to say on a Friday. <laughs> Again, draw the belly in. Keep squeezing your butt. Take a breath in. And then slightly straighten the right leg. Shift your weight forward. Holy sugar. Bend the right knee. Take a breath in. Keep lengthening the spine. Make it use your core here. Slightly straighten the left leg. Happy thoughts. And let it go. Squeeze the butt. Inhale. All the way up to stand. And then take a big breath. Reach high. And as you exhale, over to the right. Inhale, reach high. Over to the left. And then inhale up. As you exhale, come back into that forward fold. Going into a little bit longer stretch into that IT band. Let's take the left knee bent, left hand ground, center and forward, straighten the right leg, and then play around, right? You want to shift, line your hip up, knee, ankle. And if you want, reach that hand up nice and tall. Big breath in. Big breath out. Again, big inhale in, big exhale out. One more time. How's your right side feel today? Push into that right big toe, and then let it go. Fingertips to shin, squeeze your booty. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. We trade. Right leg stays bent. Right fingers down. Straighten the left leg. Remember, shift your body weight forward. Left hand up. Push into that left big toe, really maximize that space down the side. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. And then slowly let it go. Fingertips to the shin, squeeze your booty. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Head hangs, give a little shake both directions. And then squeeze the butt. Inhale, lift halfway. Really engage, engage, straighten the legs as much as you can. Inhale, lengthen the spine, push your shins back. Big inhale, and as you exhale, squeeze the booty. Come all the way up to stand again. Take a, whoo, take a big, big breath, inhale, hands up. Again, over to the right. Now this time, really pull. I've got my hands interlaced. Pull, let your left arm just kind of like not be doing anything. Pull the crap out of it with the right arm. Now take your head, pull your ears back, look up, and then just pull your left hip forward a tiny bit. Big breath in. Pull the crud out of that left arm. And then inhale up. We're gonna tray. My hands are interlaced like this. Reach up, over to the other side. So again, let this top arm just kind of chillax. And then just pull the crap out of it. And then shift your hips, pull your ears back, look up. Push into your big toes evenly, and then really pull with that left arm. It's like trying to pull and iron that right side out. Big inhale in, big exhale out, and then inhale up. As you exhale, let that go. Take a little shoulder roll backwards, and a little shoulder roll forwards, and then come to the front of your mat if you're not there now, and we'll get this stuff current. And big breath up. Exhale, fingertips down. Step your right foot back. Coming into our first runner's lunge. So check and make sure you've got your alignment going. You've got that left ankle and knee alignment, and we're on the ball of that foot. So if you're pushing way back, 
Try and wiggle that puppy back a little more. And then engage and pull that right hip forward. Right fingertips ground, squeeze with the low belly. Inhale, let's find that twist. Left hand up, big breath, big breath. Hold, squeeze as you rotate a little more. One more inhale. And then exhale, lower down, drop the knee. Now first, you guys know, I never say this, pull all of your body weight forward. Really pull in, pull in. Track above this right knee, though, the back knee. If you need a block under there, feel free. Can I just tell you that three weeks from now, I'm going to look like a skunk. I'm going to have gray stripes to here, and I won't be able to see you guys. I'm going to have to start cutting my own here. Pull forward. Take a big inhale in. Now back up the truck. Come into that nice neutral stance. So I'm a little bit wide, so I'm going to back my left foot up. Get that lovely double 90 that I like. And then think about this butt cheek. Squeeze the crud out of it. Pull it up. So again, uh, we want to get all this length here, but we don't want to let this happen. So we knit the ribs and engage our core here, and then we reach those hands up. Take a breath in. Fingertips behind the ears. Draw and squeeze those scapula together. So reversing that time, all the time we sit on that computer looking down, Utilize the muscles back there that are getting weak. Take a breath in again. Inhale, lengthen. Don't let your ribs pop out. Take the gaze up. Squeeze that right booty and just find that back bend that works for you. I don't take the world's biggest, deepest back bends. I don't need to at 51. Take a breath in. Breath out. And then inhale, come up. Left hand to the hip, right hand up. Now arch to the left. And squeeze this right booty and reach it to the right. So I want you to actually kind of arch. I'll show you from the front. The hip out. Normally I say stabilize, neutralize, reach. Then I want you to actually pull up the hip to the right, reach to the left. Take a breath. Just a little bit different. And then inhale, reach straight up. As you exhale, bring those hands down to the ground. Take a little moment. Feel what you did. Happy thoughts. Take a breath in. Hold, take this back knee. Hover the toe. I mean, tuck the toes. Hover the knee. Take a breath. Little tiny step. Right foot meets left foot. Knees are bent. You'll feel all that crap you just did around that right hip. Hands to shins. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, squeeze the butt. Come all the way up. Take a big reach up. And then exhale, goal post those arms, squeeze the booty, shift the hips forward, trying to just kind of neutralize that space, big inhale in, and then a little pit stop work into the shoulders. So I'm going to just kneel down. You guys stay standing just to show you this. I want you to, I can go sideways, lift your elbows up to shoulders, turn your palms towards your face, have done these in a while, palms come out wide, Squeeze your elbows, little tiny pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Squeeze, pull up, pull up, pull wide. Holy shit, this hurts. One more inhale. And then exhale, let it go. And I don't mean it hurts in a bad way. I mean it's like I'm aware of my muscles. You guys hopefully know what I mean. And then take some big old like swimmer circles. Get that stuff out of there. And then once you get to the other side, come into the front of the mat, fingertips to shins, half sun A, here we go, halfway lengthen, squeeze your babuki, exhale, fold, head hang, squeeze your butt, inhale, way high, big breath, reach high, and then exhale, fingertips down, step your left foot back, run your lunge. find your length, and then what happens, my left butt cheeks a mile behind my right, Track it to center, pull it in, draw and use some muscles, make it active. Left fingers plant, right fingers really tight. Big breath in, big huge breath out. One more inhale, reach. And then as you exhale, lower the hand down, lower the knee down. So again, for the moment, we stay nice and long and just squeeze into this puppy. Pull the chest forward. Team, if you are on here, this is for you. I haven't checked our latest numbers. Inhale, reach. And then slowly, kind of back out. Coming into that double 90. So again, when I come up, 
I'm too wide, so I'm gonna back this foot, bring this nice length here. And then squeeze the glute, think lift, but again, think lengthen here. So my goal is not to be here, my goal is to be here and lift up, trying to separate all this yummy stuff. And then inhale, lengthen, tuck the ribs. This time we'll just go close, take the hands back. Now fingertips, we'll stay even. Squeeze, 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 pull the shoulders back. Take the gaze up, take a breath, really engage the left booty, reach it forward, take the gaze up, just take what works for you. Big inhale, don't let the ribs pop out, take a breath. One more inhale. And then slowly bring the gaze to neutral. Inhale, reach through the spine, right hand comes to the hip, reach to the left. And again, this time we want to kind of shift your hip way over. So it's like that standing that we do, that standing posture. And then reach. Draw the ear back. I tend to turkey neck. Pull that sucker back. Big breath in. Big breath out. And then inhale, come up. And as you exhale, slowly come down to the ground. You're going to step that puppy forward again. And forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Squeeze your booty. Inhale, all the way up. Reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, all the way back down. And come to the opposite side. Step the right foot back. Come into that runner's lunge. Take a breath in, and then I want you to walk yourself to the right. Come into Skandasana. Don't go low. 45 on this right side. Left toes are up. Hold. Left hand right underneath that shoulder. Happy thoughts. Strengthen. Lengthen. Reach. Take a breath. Pull that left heel in. Activate those muscles. Big inhale in. Holy mother of God. I'm tight here. Big breath. Lower that hand down like a little tiny spider monkey. Other side. If you're like me, you gotta go into this slowly, delicately. Left knee's 45, right toes come up, happy thumbs. Find that space. Right hand, make sure you don't wanna be out here, don't wanna be over here. Right underneath. Strengthen, turn it on on the left. Lengthen with the right. Let's go deeper. Oh, sugar. Left hand up, pull that right foot towards you. Pull the right heel in. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Lower down. Back to the other side. The fun never ends. Slowly lift those toes. Now this time, plant the foot. Look at it. We want that puppy parallel with the side of your mat. So your toes are right in front of your heels. Now, this heel right now we got at 45. Do the same thing. And then really pull in, take your hands forward. And then as much as you can, shift your butt back. And now come up a little bit out of it. Hands are right underneath the shoulders. Look to the left and push. If you watch my foot, it's like a really minute movement. Push that heel out. Stretch through that outer foot. Push this heel out. And then come over to the other side. We've already lined up, so we want to change our feet. So just kind of relax into it, bend the left knee, push into the outer blade on that right foot, bring your fingers forward, take a breath, lengthen spine, and then exhale, booties come back, head comes towards the ground. Then walk those hands back into the shoulders, inhale, lengthen, push into the outer blade on that right foot, happy thoughts. Left foot doing the same thing, just tracking the feet kind of away from each other, strengthening the outer ankle. Take a breath in and then slowly come to neutral. Wiggle those feet towards one another. Guess where we're headed? Malasana squat. All right, happy thoughts. Now, you know, Lara, I saw you on here. I know you don't love Malasana squat. Allison, I know it's not your favorite. Pop a, pop a squat, I call it. Put that block under your booty. Whatever you can. We're going to take a little bit of a twist in this. So if you don't like being here for a little while, put a block under your butt or a book or laundry or something. Take the right hand to reach it towards the screen. 
like we're shaking hands. And then ooh, open up that right knee, plant your right fingertips down. Since I'm doing the whole thing with you, I'm not smart enough this Friday morning to try and figure out how to mirror you the whole practice. So you're going in the opposite direction. Reach that left back knee up, reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, bring it down. Hands to prayer. Pray we're done with this soon. Take a breath, <laughs> left fingertips. First you reach forward, little handshake, squeeze open, plant your fingertips, engage your belly. Should have said it on the other side. Oh my Lord, twist, reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, bring those hands down, take a breath. Fingertips come forward. Now, just because we've got that screensaver, why not? Our inner thighs are warm, shift forward. I know it's deep stretch, but let's stretch our brains. Cover those toes if it's there. Take a breath in. If it's not, don't worry. And then relax those feet down. Lift your hips. Big, huge circle. Just get that stuff out of there. Shifting all the way around a big old circle. And then walk way to the right. Leave your feet super wide. Shift your hips way. I mean, walk to the left. Shift your hips to the right. And then come to the other side. Walk way over to the right. Shift your hips way to the left. And then slowly come to center. Wiggle those feet towards one another. Fingertips to shins. Halfway back. Squeeze your butt. Ooh, all the way up. Okay, I am going to do hamstrings standing. So grab your block. I'm going to take a quick peek. I didn't think that anybody put anything under the chat that was extra that you wanted to work on. No. So grab a block if you have it. If you don't, again, I'm in the laundry room. These work really, really well. Or if you have weights, like everything behind me, you could grab that too. I'm going to play with some hamstring work. So, I've done this a gazillion times in the studio. Taking uh, the weight, you can just hold it in your hand for whichever one right now. Take your left foot and just take it straight back. Now, I don't want to see you doing this. Like, I'm not trying to get a huge stance, I don't want to see you here. So, just like stay nice and neutral. Take the toe straight back, find your toe, and then shift back, plant your heel. And then rotate the heel in and double check. You want to have your right heel to the right of where your left heel is. So they are not like on a row, you know, lined up on um, a balanced thing. And then slowly take your hands to your hips. Shift your weight forward. Now, feel your booty. I'll have everyone take the block first if you have it right. But place it on your low back. Squeeze and engage this front leg, your right leg. And you're going to come down, come down, come down. Oh, sugar lips. Now, fingertips to shins to start. What happens is if your hips are really unbalanced, that thing's going to fall off. If it's stabilized and you feel pretty good, you can now take it off. This is how we cheat. Hands come down. It's not really cheating, but it tells us if we're, start, you know, we're straight. Shift a little more weight forward than you think you need. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, ribs come down, head comes down. Now pull that right leg back. Take a couple of breaths. And then this is kind of funky and it hurts like hell. So I know you're dying to do it now, right? But slowly shift way back into the left knee. Bend the left knee. Peel the right toes up and actively pull that shit back. Pull that right foot back. My right toes are shaking. So we've got to bend in this leg. Pull and track that heel back. Big inhale. Takes it into, for me, I mean, you're going to feel it wherever you feel it. For me, screaming into my calf and uh, hamstring connection. Take a breath. And then you're going to go right back and straighten it. Pull the right hip back. Squeeze the crap out of your right butt cheek. Come back all the way up into the high hamstring glute connection now. Take an inhale. And then slowly, again, bend the knee, lift the toes, pull the heel back, say, oh, my Lord, take a breath. My foot's shaking. Come forward, straighten legs, pull the right hip back. Now, I always use a block. If you're the lucky one that doesn't need it, you don't need it. Fullest expression, your hand's going to be outside, your left hand's going to be outside your pinky toe. My expression, I got this block here. 
I got my left hand on it, and I'm just breathing to try and get into this twist and let my IT band know that it will not win the battle. So, hips are level, right hip back. You can even take your thumb and put it in the crease of that right hip and pull it back. That is like a super great level one, or reach that right hand up. Just for me today, the sake of talking, I'm just going to pull my hip back. I'm going to reach up. I'm going to keep my gaze down. You look wherever you want. Take a breath in. Push into your right big toe. Take a breath out. Happy thoughts. One more inhale. And then slowly exhale. Take a bend into the right knee. Step your left foot to meet it. And then just kind of take some little movements. That's some good stuff. Fingertips to shifts. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold, head will up, up, give it a little shake, yes and no. And then inhale, engage everything, squeeze through your back, come all the way up to stand. And just notice, right, so for me, my right, all this is saying, oh, wow, I think I feel about an inch taller. And that'd be super great. And then left side, let's take the party to the left. Let's see which side feels a little bit better. And after this, we're doing quad. So pay attention to which hamstrings your um, less fabulous hamstring. Because they're both fabulous, just one's more fabulous. Left side, take it back. Again, don't lean back. I started to lean. We're not trying to get the world's biggest step here. Straight back. And then step back, heels down, pivot your heel in. Again, check your alignment. Right heel is more to the right than your left heel. Very important. And then pull the hips back. And just arrive. So I have this really beautiful upright cherry tree right outside of this window that's covered in flowers and it's so cute all the cranberry finches are pulling the there must be something in the flowers they go up and they pull each little bud off and then just kind of nibble on it and then drop it take a breath it's these little things right we got to notice right now think about that nice spine pull back put your block there to go on the other side soft oh my what am i doing because I wish you could yell at me, right foot steps back, left foot is planted, angle in. I was like, wait a minute, this side already feels stretched. <laughs> I'm not looking at the tree. Slowly pull the left hip back, pull in, and drop down. Now, for me, this is tighter side, so I have a harder time getting my hips balanced. If I go to that block, it might very well fall. Hands come down, breathe. Don't lock this front knee. Take a breath. Happy thoughts. One more inhale. Your hip, your blocks are staying, you exhale, you fold. Couple breaths. If you want, you can fall all the way into it. Don't need to, really. You've got a nice long length when you pull that hip back. You're getting plenty of stretch in our hamstring. Breath in. Out. So now we're going to take that funky expression. You can leave your block if you want or use it. Bend the right knee. Peel back, lean back, holy, <laughs> pull that heel back. My foot, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's like, it's shaking like crazy. Couple of breaths, really pull it back, pull it back, squeeze from your glute to your heel. Say, any curse words that come to your brain, take a breath. You can even say them out loud because no one can hear you. I say them out loud any, anyway, right? And then come forward. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rinse down. Inhale, lengthen. Let's do that party again. Bend the right knee, pull back, heel back, pull, pull, pull. Oh, the Lord, take a breath. And then come forward, big breath in. We come into the IT man again. Walk outside, fullest expression. Not with me, 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 me needs at all. Try and balance the hips. So to get this, Again, I'm just going to take this, shove my thumb in, hand grabs my side of my booty, pull that hip back, right hip forward, and I lengthen my spine and say, holy shit, that's tight. Push into my left toe. Finally, if you want it, you come here. If you're like me, you're just going to hold on to look at the floor. Pull. Try not to lock your front knee. I was locking mine. Pull that left hip back, right hip forward. Happy place. One more inhale. One more exhale. 
and slowly let it go. Remove the block, placing it to the side, step the right foot to meet the left foot and just wiggle that step out. And then slowly make your way down onto your mat. Knees will be uh, nice and flat, coming into this expression here. Now, this may bother some of your knees, Allison, I'm trying to think of some people that are here. We're gonna take an old fashioned hurdler stretch. I ran hurdles all the way for forever and a day. Left foot's gonna come straight out. You're gonna take this right side and try and get it straight into a 90 degrees out and your heel is tucked. And then you'll look at the left foot, take a breath, and then fold towards the foot to start. Now, your fold might look like this, totally cool wherever you are. Now, inhale, come up. I want you to balance the weight. So it's like a weird thing. I gotta push this right butt cheek down. I'm gonna look right on the center. Take a breath, fingertips forward, walk in, flex this foot. And then inhale up, keep walking over to the right side, take a breath, and you'll just kind of get into a teeny tiny bit. And then inhale, come up, take this left hand, grab if you can your shin. So my foot's really tucked in. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, twist. I should have said it. If you can't do this expression with this right leg, take half tree, it'll work just fine. Breath in, twist that. And then come to center and we trade. Take this right leg straight out, take that half hurdle on the left. Or if you were on the other side, just make sure you do a different side. Start, flex the front foot. We look towards the foot first, push into the right hip. A little bit of weight comes off of this left butt cheek. Take a breath, come forward. And then inhale, center. Just kind of like walking around the world here. Center. And then inhale up, come left, over. And then inhale up, we take it into the twist. If you can't, right hand grabs the scrap back here, the shin. Left hand comes behind, inhale, lengthen, and pull yourself around. Draw the right belly in, protect the back. And then slowly come back to neutral. Taking those knees out in front. Give both legs a little wiggle. Just let them kind of relax into it. I hate that I might have to turn this into a 75 minute class. I have decided. You guys text me and give me your thoughts on that. It's hard to teach this in 60 minutes. I like my 75 minute time frame. And then this right side, we're gonna do a quick little love session in our quads. I'm gonna go on and do double. Those of you that um, know you have bum knees, you're going to do one at a time. If you're doing one at a time, you're going to just take right heel, bring it outside, going into full hero. And you'll take your block, if you have a bum knee, right? You'll put it under your left butt cheek. Just helps buy a little bit of space and forgiveness in that knee. You can also, this is harder on the knee than tucking it straight under. You honor your body. You guys know that. This is not about me. It's about what you can do. If you're going into the full expression, you'll take your boomy, your boomy. I don't know what your boomy is. Your booty. <laughs> your booty. You can either sit down or you can sit on a block. I'm going to show you how I do. My quads are super tight, which you might giggle because, like, this, the fact that I can do this is taking me forever. I give in to my double hero. I keep and I squeeze sugar out of my inner thighs so they don't come apart. That's really super hard. And then I place a block back here. I walk myself backwards. I grab my feet and I relax back and I let my head, the block's a little hard. I let my head hang like a wooden supported fish. Hang back. Arms come up. Now, main thing is I want to try and keep my legs together, my belly's engaged. Those of you who can't do this, you honor what you can do. That's the shitty part about teaching online, right? I can't really um, help you guys there. I can just offer up something different and hopefully you'll honor your body. Take a breath in, reach if you're in this posture with me. Take a breath. Exhale, let it go. One more inhale in. And then exhale, bring those hands down to your feet. Engage your low back, engage your, not engage your low back, engage your belly to protect your low back. 
Lift the head up. And then lift your chest up. Come up. And then you come forward. Just shift onto one hip. Bring those legs back out in front. Now, if you have a block, I want you to keep the block. Or maybe supported fish. If you don't have a block, I'll show you normal fish. I just suck at normal fish. Like, seriously, I've been practicing yoga for 22 years. I still can't figure it out without a block. So I always use a block. I'm going to show it to you. In my best days, I find something that feels good without a block. So here's normal fish. Supported fish first, block between the shoulders. You're going to lay back and you're going to chill out. Those of you that don't have a block, here's what we're trying to do. You bring your hand kind of towards your back row, both of them. Draw your elbows in. Pull the shoulders back. Head comes up and the head drops back. Now you keep extending through the spine, lifting up in the chest. So negating all that time sitting at our desk, getting rid of that technique. Now I should probably keep doing it like that since I suck at supported fish, but what the heck, I had to walk. I'm gonna relax myself back and come into a nice supported fish and just be like so stoked and happy and life is good. I'm gonna open up my heart and act like I didn't lose my shit on my father last night when he called me four times in five minutes because somehow at the age of 83, he misplaced my email and, you know, whatever it was he needed to email me was so life-threatening and I had to have it that moment. But he called me four times, called my husband and called both of my boys. Oh my Lord, right? And we breathe. This too shall pass. Big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Now, if this is your happy place and you want to stay there, if you're in regular fish with no block, obviously that's not going to be your long-term happy place. If you want to take Shavasana like this, you can totally stay here. Otherwise, take your fingertips behind your ears, just lift up. Bring your elbows down. Oh, engage your belly, lift up. Take the block to the side, soft bend in the knees, and roll yourself down. So you take an easy twist, draw the knees in, breath in, exhale, twist over to the right. So just feel the work you did. You might even feel it right now, just from that fish. That's a big expression. Big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bring those knees to center. And then exhale, take it over to the left. Big breath, nice work you guys did. A big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. And then bring those knees back up to center, taking a breath. If you want, squeeze them in, give them a big squeeze. And then as you exhale, take those legs out long on the mat. So let your heels go out wide. Take the hands down. I'm going to lift myself up. Put on a little music for you in your rest. You guys relax into your space. Take up as much space as you can. And then scan the body, right? See where you can let go of a little bit more. Check your tongue. Release it from the roof of your mouth. Check your brow. Get that number 11 relaxed. We don't need to be so serious. And then take a big breath in, open the mouth,
could let go of energy. Or I could let go of right or wrong. It would get deeper and deeper. Keeping the eyes closed, just slowly start to reconnect your breath with a tiny bit of movement. It doesn't need to be anything big or deep or fancy. And then slowly take a big breath in. Fill up your lungs and as you exhale, take that breath out. And then keeping the eyes closed, I invite you to find a soft bend in your knees and roll over onto your favorite side. Your right side is your solar side, your energetic side. Left side, your lunar side, your more relaxed side. And then pause there and go on and set that intention for the day. I really can't think of a more important time for us to actually try and solidify a little something each day. Maybe it's a prayer. And that's totally an amazing, amazing time to do a prayer. That is what you need. And slowly, again, if you can, keep the eyes closed and welcome to lift yourself up into a comfortable seat facing your computer screen where we imagine that we are together, sending all of our energies in together. And then slowly, slowly bring those hands to prayer at heart center. Take a big, deep inhale in. Feel your heart open. And as we exhale, we feel everything soften. I welcome you to bring your thumb knuckles to your forehead where together we honor that clarity of thought that reminds us none of us have lived through this before and there's no right way to handle it. It's okay to have emotions about it, to be tired, overwhelmed, angry, or scared, or anything at all. It's fine if you haven't cleaned out your closets or done a 10 push-up challenge or kept up with your yoga practice. Take the time you need to take care of yourself your way and don't shame yourself about it. Please, and remember, we can give others that same courtesy too. Really important for our kids that are all whacked out right now. Bringing thumb knuckles to lips together, we honor that clarity of speech and our efforts to stay positive and compassionate with our words, even though we will have those moments, right? Like I did on my father last night. We then apologize and say, I'm so sorry. And lastly, thumb knuckles to our chest space, where we honor that clarity of action, where we slow down and we recognize those moments. We practice a little bit of humility with ourselves. We practice a little bit of grace and ease with ourselves. And then that same for those around us. Beautiful yogis, I thank you guys so much for your support and your encouragement. 
My hope for you is that I was able to help find a little bit of grace and ease in your bodies, but leaving you with a little bit of stronger peace of mind than when we first came together. Namaste. Namaste. Beautiful yogis. And thank you guys so much. I posted underneath the chat. I hate, I like it really bothers me asking for donations, but um, as I got my two boys rent, uh, $1,900 in rent that's due today, uh, yet they're not in their apartments, they're at home. I'm going to ask for those donations because I pay for my college, uh, my boys' college stuff. <laughs> so if you're so obliged and you have it, I certainly appreciate the donations to Venmo. And I am doing tomorrow, I'm unmuting if I can, do, if you haven't already. I am doing tomorrow, um, just on my own, not through Melting Point, um, a slow flow and stretch. So if you follow me on Instagram, I've got those links there. But a lot of people had asked me to do that. Um, so I'm doing it on my own. It's at 11 o'clock tomorrow on Saturday. So, um, and hopefully the weather will be great and I'll be in my outside studio. But I thank you guys so much. And I hope everybody has an awesome day.